Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So the Swedish word of the day is colorful, which is in Swedish glad. glad. So today I'm going to hop into this palette. This is a beautiful palette called Flower Child, which is created by Max Up The Makeup. Let me tell you a little, little story. So you know, you guys know I have my Will I Buy It video. And I tried to talk about indie brands, but then also a lot of mainstream brands. And I have said to you guys that you can tag me, but basically when you go to, for instance, trend mode, if you tag me in a post, um, sometimes that can disappear but if a brand would tag me for instance if they share my picture then that will end up on my Instagram account where I can go back and trace it whenever I want and this brand when they started out tagged me in all of their new photos and I was so excited they really hyped me up so I talked about this in my will I buy it video and then the owner contacted me and was super cute. So I think the owner is actually Max. His name is Max and he contacted me and asked me if I wanted the palette. And I was like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you the palette. This is a beautiful little rainbow palette. Looks like this, super cute. Look at this. You have a lot of fun pops of color. Well, all of these are <laughs> pops of color. I do want to give a huge cred to Max Up The Makeup because not only do you get this beautiful palette, it feels like it has a great color story and it also feels like it has a thought behind each sh shadow. Um, so by the way, you do get this little slip, but then you also get a little folder like this you do get a mirror and all of this for $25. That is a good price, especially like if you're an indie brand, you kind of, a lot of the times need to take higher prices, but 25 bucks is not a lot and they are US based. So if you do live in the US, maybe you wanna go ahead and purchase from them. Maybe you wanna go ahead and purchase from them if you live in Europe or Australia or wherever you live as well. But I am going to dive into this palette today. I'm not gonna swatch the entire palette now. I'm gonna do that in the end of the video because I don't have a bra on and I don't wanna show off my boobs and such and I don't wanna put on on any clothes. So let's zoom you guys in and get started. So I did already prime with the Milani eyeshadow primer and I'm not gonna do anything like too crazy today. Well, we'll see, but I haven't swatched this. I haven't even touched this palette yet. So I'm gonna start, start off with the shade French, which is this baby pink shade. Dipping in, um, <laughs> not a lot of kick up. Look at that. And then look at my brush. So I did get, I don't know how well you can see my brush, but I did get a lot of product on my brush and not a lot of kick up. So I do want to say this, that it doesn't matter if a brand sends me PR or not. I'm still going to be honest. Like I'm super thankful that this brand wanted to send me PR because it's like, I'm always super thankful when a brand sends me PR uh, because obviously, they find you, they like you, uh, and they think that you are good enough to review their brand, which I think is, like, it's always fun when you have someone who believes in you. But when it comes to indie brands, they don't have the budget like ABH, for instance, that has so many people on their PR list. So this brand might not have that much money to go ahead and spend or send out a lot of PR. So I'm like extra thankful that they wanted to send it to me. And this is the kind of brand where I'm like, please let this palette be good because I really want it to be good, but I'm not gonna lie. Like if it's not good, I'm gonna tell you. If it's so-so, I'm gonna tell you, but it's just like, you know, I'm, 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 I'm praying that this is gonna be fabulous. And so far, I think that this seems to be nice, but it's just like the baby pink, so. Yeah, so far, so good. Okay, I do wanna say this, that the first time I dipped in, I didn't have a lot of kick up, as I said. And now you can see when I dipped in a couple of times that I have a lot more kick up, but I also have much more, um, I get much more color payoff. So maybe you need to like dig into it a little bit. 
Next up, I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna take the shade Psychedelic Summer, which is this really bright pink, like a really neon pink. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Taking this in my outer corner. So I did change brush to the Sigma E25 brush. I'm just kind of packing this on. The reason why I changed brush, by the way, is just because I want to have a little bit more control. Great color payoff and it's not patchy as you can see. Zooming you guys in a little bit more, but as you can see, it didn't turn up patchy, which is something that neon pinks can do. Just changing brush so I can blend this a little bit into the lighter pink. And this is, by the way, the brand's first product. Uh, I went to the website because I wanted to see if they had anything about them so I could tell you a little bit about the brand, but they actually don't really have that. So Max, fix that. <laughs> But one thing I saw on the website that I do want to mention that I saw is so good. It says that it's made for everybody, all genders, races, sexual orientations, and ages. Good. They know what it's all about. Now I'm going to take the shade Vintage, which is this uh, like burgundy shade almost. Okay, this doesn't want to build as you can see okay it builds but it's not as deep as I thought it would be like I'm really going into this shadow now So what I have noticed is like the top layer, you kind of need to go through that. I'm not saying that it's a cast, but it's just like when you're dipping in, you kind of need to dip in a little bit like the first time, but that is only going to be a, an issue like the first time. If you go in and swatch this palette first, you are not going to have that problem, just so you know, but it's not a problem in my opinion. It's just something I'm mentioning, but I went in way too much with the shade Vintage. So I'm going into the shade Psychedelic Summer once again. Yes, I do still want it to be this beautiful pink. I think it's also the technique that I'm using. I've been doing the reverse technique for so long that I'm really bad at this. But the, you know what I mean? Like I have gone in with the darkest shade first and now I went in with the lightest shade first. So I think I'm like a little bit sloppy. But that's my fault. And then I'm taking a little bit more of the shade French, which is the lightest pink. Stunning. This I thought would be a little bit more red, but just like swatching it, it's kind of a little bit sheer but it is definitely pulling to the pink side. So I'm gonna be a little bit boring. I did already cut my crease, but I'm gonna be, as I said, a little bit boring. I wanna use a liquid shadow. Yes, it's this one. I bought this at H&M. This is just like a scintillating, I don't know, <laughs> eye color in the shade. Oh my gosh, but um, it's kind of sheer, so I'm gonna put down a base and I'm gonna take the shade Groovy, which is the orange one. I will use this palette more times, so I will test it out more and test out the shimmers and so on. But I'm just gonna pack this on. Isn't that just beautiful? Okay, so I'm just gonna apply this H&M color on top of this and don't worry that it looks a little bit patchy on my lids. That is not important when going in with this. Also, it is because of the base that I had underneath was a concealer base that I didn't really blend out. So it's not the shadow's fault, it's the base fault and my fault. So 
just keep that in mind but now let's go in with this Oh my god. Do you see how little I took and how far it got me? But it looks gorgeous with that orange underneath. Like, ooh. Okay, I'm actually gonna take just a tad more on each lid. And I'm not gonna drag it now, I'm just gonna tap it over. So I've been away for quite some time and I'm holding up my brows because as you can see I did an eyeliner and then I put glitter glue on top of it. So I'm gonna take a shadow to put on top of my eyeliner. But I can't decide if I wanna take this one or this one. Okay, no, I, I need to take the shade Hippy Dippy. And that was the green and then I'm just going to pack this on. Like, I think that this looks so freaking cool. Let's take the shade Psychedelic Sick Summer, which is the neon pink. Just taking this all around my eye. And then I'm gonna take the shade Vintage, which is the deeper pink red. just like closest to my lash line. I do want to take a little bit more of the shade Vintage on my Sigma E36 brush and I'm tapping it off and then I'm gonna apply it right here. Just to sharpen. Okay, I'm going to fix my lashes and the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. Okay, so you can't see my boobs now, right? I just, I don't know, but like small little behind the scene thing. I hate putting on pants. So right now I have a pair of shorts on me and I don't have a bra. So, you know, what are you gonna do? Anyway, uh, let's hop into the swatches. This is the finished look. If you're wondering about anything that's on my face, everything is listed down below. As well as all of the equipment and everything I'm using, so check it down below. So I am going to go row by row. So we have the three first right here. So the first one is called Fringe. And then we have the shade Groovy. And then Vintage. And here you can see really that the shade Vintage is kind of sheer. So I will build it up just to see if we can do that. Just so you can see like how the color performs or how the color looks like the true color is. This is what it looks like. Oh, this is my favorite row. Look at that. Ooh. Next up is Daisy Shane. Hippy Dippy and Psychedelic Summer. Wow. So this Psychedelic Summer didn't really swatch that well, but it performed way better than it swatched, which is the most important thing to me. I really, really like this green as well. Like, how could I not? Okay, the shade Thrifting, which is this one, I think will have a lot of kick up. Ooh. I want to do a look only with that like all over just smoke it out like beautiful festival 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 and then lastly is paisley I'm gonna take a little bit more of that shade okay so here you have all of the shades I think that I mean, just looking in the viewfinder, they're just gorgeous. Um, it's a, wait, oh. <laughs> oh, sneeze break. Okay, you can see right here that the shade, um, thrifting, uh, stained a little bit, also the blue. So I don't know if they are going to stain your lid, but it, they did stain my hands a little bit. This is, of course, cruelty free. But yeah, this is what the colors look like. I think that all of the colors look really beautiful and I love 
the colors that they did pick I think that a lot a lot of them will go very well together like this orange and this red really goes well together along with this pink like this is not a red I'm sorry but I'm gonna refer to it as a red so it contains obviously six mattes and then three shimmers which is the best ratio in my opinion I think that three shimmers and six mattes is really good I think that overall it looks really good uh, performance wise like swatches some of these didn't swatch the best like this one vintage this one psychedelic summer oh my god I'm learning the names and I think this blue one which was called Paisley I think that those those three didn't swatch the best but it doesn't really matter because the only thing that matters is how they perform on the eye and the psychedelic summer I think performed really well the shade vintage needs a little bit more of building up but if you are a beginner I think that you will appreciate that but I actually think that the shadows performed good and I will use it a little bit more um, I did only use the shimmer on the wing so I can't really say that much about it but for now I think that the quality is good and I think that if you were looking for a new palette, I think that this one is stunning. Um, I really love this and I love the, the owner and I don't know, I haven't really talked to him, but I just kind of feel such a love for him. But let me know if some of you have this or what do you think about the palette in general, like let me know. And yeah, that is gonna do it for today. So if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, please feel free to thumbs the video down. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.